Feast your eyes on the DiJack hijack of Rise Wrestling. That's enough talk. Now it's time to do or die, Jack. Effective immediately for their actions at the June 2024 Rise show, I, head matchmaker of Rise Wrestling, Chris LaRusso, hereby declare that the 27 Club is banned from Rise Wrestling on July 13th, 2024, and will not be permitted to compete in the Rise Rumble, signed Chris Loser LaRusso. For those of you that don't speak pathetic loser, let me translate what that means. It means Chris LaRusso, who's always been jealous of my prowess as an attorney and professional wrestler, has decided to take it upon himself to protect Edric Everhart and Rise Wrestling from the 27 Club. Now, the 27 Club has had its fair share of run-ins with management and with Edric Everhart. And we've made it no secret that we are going to take over Rise Wrestling by the end of 2024. This changes absolutely nothing. And Chris, you can try your hardest to keep us from the building. You could do everything you can to help your buddy Edric Everhart, who's losing allies along the way. But let me tell you that just like we took out Matt Connard and Tony Johnson, and we put that Bearcat Keith Hot down, Rise Wrestling and Edric Everhart will be run over by the 27 Club by the end of 2024. And that's a promise to all you pathetic losers and morons. You're welcome. Welcome, Rise fans, to this week's Thursday Throwdown. In tag action, we have your former Rise Tag Team Champions and current Rise Tag Invitational Champions, the Rad Boys. Let's go to the ring with your commentators, Doc and Jim LaMotta. <laughs> Gosh, 
Yeah. Talk a little like James Ross right now. Never mind, he's a small ball. We, you know, it is what it is. Let's not forget, Don. It was the Rad Boys that unseated Money Shot after Money Shot had those prize tag team titles for almost one calendar year. The Rad Boys were the team to unseat them in a historic reign. And we even see the Rad Boys in a few months. I mean, just think, having that on your resume, defeated Money Shot for prize tag team titles. That's, a, that's on the, that's right there, Malachi Gage, second trip, the oldest gentleman in second generation wrestlers in Pariah. Calling them gentlemen is a little bit of a stretch, but second, yeah. second generation wrestlers, that might do it. Malachi Gage will try to eat. I'm not going to get the story about him. He's just psychotic in his own right. As he's shot to the ribs right there. Yeah, Malachi Gage, very, very unbalanced. He's about a five-year pro. But he started very, very young in the wrestling business. Yes, he I did. believe oh, are we really certain to scratch the surface as to how good Malachi Gage is going to be? I witnessed once and Malachi Gage take one big time Bill Collier to his limit in the main event. And I mean I mean Malachi Gage has what it takes. It's right now, right to the solar plexus, and he's just taking it. Wiley's in a lot of trouble. Oh! Innovative maneuver. I've never seen that before. Cover here, hooks that leg. Two and a half. Two and a half. Malachi Gage is a real roughneck in there. He's very unorthodox, very difficult to prepare for. It's just psychotic, I mean, there's two at the end with a low like James Ross. I mean, these two, again, do you know what Pariah meant for me? Outcasts. And that's exactly what they love to be. As right now, they double team action. They send Wiley into the ropes and, oh, they look. Nice tag team continuity right there. That was a face full of me. Only two count and Gage. I think, uh, I think Malachi Gage would give Freud's next day. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody could diagnose Malachi Gage, as right now, Pariah playing smart tag team wrestling and keeping him in the death corner. And speak to that, the tag team strategy of splitting the ring in half. Yes, and right now, Big Muta Wiley trying to fight his way out of that seventh level of help for Pariah, and no, Malachi Gage will bring him right back. Nice double team maneuver, very, very effective here. Two and a half. And you would have to think if Gage and Ross can defeat the Rad Boys, that would have to be considered a mild upset given the resume of the Rad Boys in Rides Pro Wrestling. Not just that, I mean, if you think about it, they're going to move up the tag team ranks for the uh, tag team champions. And right now, they are just stomping away on Shane Wiley and bring them three referees back. Did you see how Ross positioned himself between Brady and Elliott? Elliott has that much further to, I'm sorry, Wiley has that much further to go to make that tag because James Ross has positioned himself right between the two rad boys. Why are we trying to fight out of it here? As about Wiley though, oh wait, Ross held on just in time. One, two, and no, only a two count. My goodness. What a Tag team action personified. Have to give it up to the Pariah, their wise debut. But they are taking it to one of the most notable tag teams in Rise history. And of course, as we've said, former tag team champions. Really pouring on the offense and trying to rough up Jake Wyatt. And they just sent him into that opposite corner. As right now, oh, look at this. Malachi Gage now playing a little mental game. And something you can speak to, dog. Malachi Gage and the Rad Boys go back a long way in their individual careers. Yes, they do. All the way back to Altoona, Pennsylvania. Imagine wrestling. And right now, wait a minute now. Miscalculation. Wiley, Wiley turning the tables here. Here comes Ross, though. And now the low life getting. Oh, my goodness. You're a noggy. That could be what he needs. And wait a minute. Elliot with a super kick to Gage, and oh no, Ross still Ivy, got him. Ivy is trying to crawl, he makes the tag. Here comes Brandon Elliott, big clothesline. The neon title wave is hitting in Uniontown. Has him up, and oh my goodness, misses it. It's him up, big atomic drop to Gage, and both members of Pariah have just pushed a one button on the one-man team of, oh my goodness, 
Gage took out his own partner. Gage this took out his own partner. This could be a pivotal point in this contest, Doc. Oh, look at the agility of Elliot staying on the apron. And Britton hangs on. Elliot delivering those goods. We know the Rad Boys can fly. Face out everybody. Spear through the ropes. The Rad Boys looking to make a statement here tonight. Has him up. Ross trying to fight his way out of it though. Gage, face full of Wiley on that one. Elliot now. Ooh. They could be going for it. It's the double down. My goodness, could this be it? One. They got it. Absolute barn burner tag team contest, but don't rise grand champion cowpoke Paul. What a curious night tonight. You took a pile driver, you got pinned by a member of White Trash Forever. Yeah, yeah and let me tell you this the cowpoke likes to go out and have a fun time every once in a while. But if there's one thing I don't like, if there's one thing I don't fucking like, it's losing. Ron Mathis, you bring your ass back to the Uniontown Mall. I don't care if there's rules, no rules, whatever. I'm going to kick your keister all up and down the Uniontown Mall, and I'm going to keep the Rise Grand Championship. You want to hold it forever? You're not going to hold it for another day, Ronnie, because the cowpoke's coming, and now he's coming for a fight. Adrenaline does fuse. Ron's wrestling's throwdown is to show you can't refuse. They smack down middle. Crowds really riled. Their cheers, their screams. Man, they get wild. Where did. Jason Hendricks, go. Where did Jason Hendricks go? Nobody's answering. But fortunately, I got the answers. Look, I left for a little bit. Left Rise Wrestling behind because I need to figure out Exactly who I was. All right. Needed to figure that out. Feel like I got a pretty good read on it now. So July 13th, I'm going to win the Rise Rumble. And then I'm going to be the Rise Grand Champion. Because the waves said I could, man. They believe in me. Rise, I may no longer be what you want, man. And I'm sure as hell what you need.
never not be Ronnie Grande, and you let him know it. You let him know it. Nice to meet you. You need to know that. Okay. Well, Jim, brought back here tonight. White trash forever. Take you on to the Six man tag team action here. And a jam packed week. Let's not forget our feature contest this week the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. EC3 will square off with the NWA Exodus Midwest Champion. Pretty boy smooth, winner takes all. That's right. Before we get there, this gigantic six man tag, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but you can bet your bottom dollar that things are gonna, gonna be out of control here. Well, white trash forever, WTF is what they said. Uh, Ron Matt is making uh, his way over to the commentary table. I paid a lot of money for that. I have a and, uh, As you can see, a little bit of uh, display of love here. And I, you know, it's been a while since I've been here, Jim. Tyler Box, I never could believe. with Mathis and Dre here. Well, while uh, White Trash and Rose are having a power I'd like to uh, have a quick birthday shout out to young wrestling fan Hudson King, celebrating his second birthday. Happy birthday, Hudson, from everyone here at Rise Wrestling. You know, it, it is hard to believe that there's actually some fans here for White Trash forever. I mean, there's not many, don't get me wrong, but just shocked. I mean, you look on the other side, you got Pat Angel, Jace Mara, who's one half of the Rise Tag Team Champions, and of course, Cal Popa, a former Rise Grand Champion, defeating Batman right in a Ronnie's Rules match. Ronnie's Rules match, Ron Mathis really doesn't lose those. Yep, we have the current and former champion here for Cal Popa. And it has been a long lasting feud when it comes to Cal Poke and Ron Mathis, and we're seeing that here like so much hatred between us. Uh oh, Cal Poke, <laughs> just like magic, he wants Ron Mathis in that ring. An old rivalry renewed here. We're going to see things here, and uh, Tyler Vox doesn't know what to do. He's like, should I tag you? Should I not? Well, I mean, a championship contenders here. Because, of course, the current champion, Cal Coach Paul, current tag champion, won Chase Mera. And, of course, Pat Andrew, who's been making a big splash and rise over the past few months as well. That's right, and now uh, Kyle Poke in a place you don't want to be, and that is in the corner of White Trash Forever. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go, all six competitors. I hope the referee has his value because, oh my, this is going to be hard to stop, Jim. I told you. And here we go. And now Pat Angel has his hands full of gray, tosses him out of the ring, though. Wait a minute though, Mathis was back to Pat Angel, that high flyer. Here he goes and oh my goodness. Pat Angel, what a momentum he's had here. And there comes Fox, flying knee, the beauty. Angel oh, lifted up by Fox, Fox has it. Oh my oh, Nasty impact. Oh, now he just kicks him to put a dot on that one. My goodness. Here he comes, Captain Spalding's favorite son, Chase Mara. Doesn't say gray though. He's gray. Oh, it's one of those kicks. And Mara's down, clutching his chest. Bruce Gray knows some judo or what? I don't know what the. Oh, Bulldog. And a beauty by Kalpo Paul. 
Now, how long is this? First show back is a long time. defeated Ron Mathis for that title back in December. So in his sixth month as the grand champion, of course, he is a two-time live grand champion. How about Pat Angel with the aerial assault that he has? Congratulations to him for adding a third daughter. The Angels, you could say. All three of those daughters, the Angels girls. As right now, Pat's a busy man, isn't he? Yes, he is. I mean, three girls. How would you feel when they're older? You have to deal with him. Of course. Look out. Uh-oh, here he goes. Up. 450, but I think no water in the pool that time. Only a two count. I'm sure his angel kicked out of that. Math has got his knees up in the, just in the nick of time here. And uh, here we go. Yeah, White Trash River running rampant here. In Rise for Wrestling. Box delivery. He got locked in on Angel. He's just and they're just nasty, sleazy individuals. A lot of hatred in this building for these three individuals, Vox, Mathis, and of course Gray, as Vox now is just taking it to Pat Angel. Wow, this crowd getting behind Pat Angel. My goodness, this high flyer in a lot of trouble. He's in the zone you don't want to be in. Well, the Angel has been grounded, that's for sure. One thing about Vox Gray, I will say this, I heard the man ruins family. Ruins families. That's, 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 that's scary. Because right now he is just ruining Pat Angel with those shots to the chest. He's just standing. My God. I'll tell you what, man. This girl is a guy that is so sweet and so overhanded. There's just something unsettling about when he's out here. Getting behind Pat Angel, he has to get out of the white trash zone, you could say. Mathis and Vox have him. Oh, and they're, just, they're, they're keeping him in the corner, Jim. Smart wrestling by White, by white Trash and number three. Oh, man, what double, triple team offense here. Slow to get up though. And again, there's something so sweet, so nasty about Bruce Gray. I hope Bruce Gray's had all of his shots, you know what I mean? Do you really think any of them have any of them? They're probably walking tuberculosis. There's a couple of diseases, but we won't get into them here on YouTube. As right now, Tyler Box is just stomping away. And again, uh oh, Box pushing. Jason Mary trying to get in here. The referee's back is turned. And for the record, if you're watching us here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Let us know you're watching. Let us know what you think. And of course, be here every Thursday at 7 p.m. for the Thursday throwdown. Here comes Jason Mara. Oh, takes a couple shots. Close lines box. And again, Mara in control has him up. Dr. Lewis is from the other project. Looking really good here. Didn't see the tag. Put some opposite Look out here. Fox is not the legal man, though. Misdirection. The legal man is that man right now entering the ring. Right, just Ron Mathis. Ron Mathis now. On these season. Catches him in midair. Oh, my God. Interception from Ron Mathis, who powers Mera to the canvas. Unbelievable strength displayed by Mathis. Caught Mera in midair. He caught him in midair. I can't believe that. Jake Mera has really grown by leaps and bounds over the past few months, but he is just being physically overwhelmed right now. And now, Chris Gray choking the living life out of Mera. Two on one, sometimes three on one. That's tough odds for anybody. Let's make this show spectacular. Getting closed down as 
right now as we speak, but Gray, Gray now has him in the corner. And big chop. Oh my goodness, look at this, just a barrage of violence by Bruce Gray, but this is an expected anything less. Yeah, some people call that combination a violence party, and that's exactly what Bruce Gray is un unloading on Mara here. Just watching his limbs, and Bruce Gray is something here, has him, and again, into the zone of white trash forever, a place you do not want to go to. Keeping Mara in the corner, smart tag team strategy. Quick tags, keeping the first man in. That's Tag Team Wrestling 101. And that is what makes White Trash Forever so dangerous. Because as unorthodox as they are, they know what they're doing inside that ring. Now he's off the ropes. Elbow drop delivered though. And I mean, Mathis knows what he's doing here. He knows he needs to put these guys down. He's representing Trash Wrestling and then you got the White Trash Forever here. That nobody likes. What, what is this? Rick is rolling in his grave right now. Look out. Mera avoids the contact, but can he make the tag? And again, Gray keeping him at bay, keeping him right in that corner. All Angel and Calpo Paul could do is just wait. They want to get in there. They want to make this tag. I mean, Mera's been in there for, what, three, four minutes? It's just it's nonstop. Forever. Quick tags and keeping the first man in. Now, Tyler Box does kicks. I mean, think about Tyler Box. Yes, we got the Yeah, well, they got their back turned on by Tyler Box. So Tyler Box has been underhanded almost his entire career. No surprise that he fits in with Ron Mathis and Bruce Gray. with a beaten batter, Jace Mara. But one thing about Jace Mara, like anybody in Camp Kistler Lake, he always comes back. Oh my goodness, delivering those chops, but it's just not enough. And Fox stay off. Again, I thought Fox was going to play the right for him. For a while, man. And it comes to Tyler Hawks. Gray in there. Who's Gray? Looks like we're going somewhere, maybe. And oh my goodness! Snap suplex, by the way. Mara's down. I don't know about this one. Jim, he, he has to be going over. He does it. This guy's going to be over. Yeah, they may be on third time here. Good job. Finish your play. I'm here. Is so. Ron Mathis put you here, Kurt? I was wondering. Oh my goodness! I didn't know if he's suffering from something or not. I didn't want to make the man mad. I'm actually scared of it, but no, I don't think he did. I think he did himself. Oh my goodness! I think he brought back the flow of it. I think he's bringing it back. You remember the flow of it? You hooked it up to your shoes and did your own haircut. Look it up. Before my time. Well, you know. But I'll tell you what's going on right now. Oh my Mary God. It's getting absolutely pummeled in that ring right now. I mean, Matt, this is just showing his power. I mean, there's body slams. I mean, he caught there in midair. But is it enough? Is it enough to solve, to solve the puzzle box, which is a speechless spectacular Jason Mara? Well, clearly, White Trash Forever, they want to make a statement here. Ron Mathis wants to get back in the conversation of the Grand Championship. Nobody home on the moonsault. Mathis missed that moonsault. Well executed moonsault, but it, again, like you like to say, there's no water in the pool there, no water in the pool. But is it enough? Can Mara make the tag here? Pivotal point in this contest here. Poke, Cowpokes with ca tagged in here. Here he goes. Cowpoke ball. Your Rise Grand Champion going nuts here tonight. Uh-oh. Double knock and knocker. This crowd is electric here in Utah, Pennsylvania. And we're going to see the reunited rivalry here. These two beat the 
the hell out of each other for the Grand Championship once before. is just going ballistic here. But no, Math is taking away with that white trash uppercut. Oh, and now he's blocking it. Uh-oh. Goes up. He's going for that tornado DDT, Jim. He misses a kick to the midsection. Look out. Spike pile driver. Bruce Gray breaking up that pin. I don't know about you, but would you want to spend a Thursday night just doing this? Because nobody's walking away from this the same. Boxing there just exchanging punches here. Bruce Gray was gnawing on the cranium of Pat Angel. And of course, our great guys and media camera is going to bring you all the action from every angle because this is Thursday throwdown, brother. Mitch Anoku driver from Jace Merrill. Oh! Snap DDT by Bruce Gray. My goodness, the precision of this man. Oh no, wait a minute, Angel. Look! Showing off that collegiate background with the Olympic slam. Oh, he's going for it. Could be going for that spectacular Angel twist. It has been quoted the most beautiful finisher in professional wrestling. Can he do it here? The wait, Fox. Oh no, all the way to the floor. Angel could have just been eliminated from this matchup. Angel's night could have come to an abrupt end. Fox had his back turned and now Calpo Paul trying to defend Angel here. Oh, elbow. Could it be the Dust Bowl DDT? Right here. This is the legal man. And Ron Mathis just pinned the grand champion. Ron Mathis has done the unthinkable. He it is a pure revenge until that title changes hands, but he just made a statement here tonight. Kapo Paul did not know that Vox was not the legal man, and Mathis taking complete advantage of that, that pile driver, and getting the victory here tonight for White Trash Forever. I gotta be honest, Doc, I am absolutely shocked. Ron Mathis just pinned the grand champion. That even has some big time repercussions in the matchmaking here in Rides. Crystal Russo has something to think about here because the grand champion just had his shoulders pinned. And if you think that's a shocker.